Welcome to Majitoots. In this video I will show you guys how to create an animated subscribe button in Canva. First of all let me show you the easiest method to make use of an animated subscribe button in Canva. At the moment we have a blank Canva project in front of ourselves. So first of all let me add some footage to our project. Under videos here, let's say we want to add some um, nature videos. So I just added this uh, lovely little forest here. I will add another page, then maybe also take that one here. I will go to see all here. And let's say to, um, to finish our project, we would like to insert this, this footage here. So I will just click on that one as well. And now our project consists of these three videos. And now let's say on our last sequence, I would like to have this animated subscribe button. So how would you do that? Well, the easiest method to do that is, would be to go to elements here in the left sidebar, then search for subscribe. Then we will scroll down a bit and then we would actually choose one of these subscribe buttons here that has no background and simply drag and drop that one inside of our project. Now to make sure that this would actually work as expected, we are going to preview our clip by clicking here on preview in the top toolbar. Well, we are obviously not going to watch the whole footage here because we are just interested in the subscribe button. So I'm going to skip here most of the video, maybe until here. And now let's see what happens. And as you can see, just as our last video clip started to play, we actually got our subscribe button just as we expected. So everything works well. So that was actually the easiest method to get an animated subscribe button in your Canva video. As you can see, most of these subscribe buttons here, they actually do have a crown symbol in the lower right corner of the video here. And that means that these videos are actually reserved to Canva Pro users. So in case you are using Canva free, just as I do at this very moment, you could only use the subscribe buttons here that actually don't have this crown symbol, just as the subscribe button that we chose for this video here. If you are interested in becoming a Canva Pro user, which I can highly suggest you to do, then please have a look at the description of this video where you will find a 30 day free trial for Canva Pro. Now at this point it needs to be mentioned that this kind of subscribe button here in Canva will only work that way if you are using it directly inside of Canva. As soon as you will download this subscribe button here for example, you will notice that once it is downloaded and you will use it in another software, maybe in something like Premiere Pro, you will actually notice that this subscribe button here doesn't come with a transparent background. And that's obviously annoying because it will mean that you can only use it at the very end of your video and it will come with a white background. So you won't actually be able to use this subscribe button on top of your content just as we did now here in Canva. So now let's suppose you would indeed like to download the subscribe button from Canva and then later on use it in another video software such as Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve without actually having the problem that your subscribe button will still have a background. How could you do that? Well, here's how you do it. First of all, let me just delete the elements here in our Canva project. Just going to um, remove these two pages here and so we just have one page left but I'm also going to delete this video here and now I'm going to select videos here in the left sidebar and I'm searching for subscribe. As you can see here we already have some pre-made videos with subscribe buttons. However, you can also see that all of these subscribe buttons, they actually do have a background, be it black, white or green. And now if you would choose a subscribe button with a black background, for example, drag and drop that in our project, right click it and set video as background. You can see that we have a lovely subscribe button here. But then again, the problem would be that this subscribe button already comes with a background, which is black in this case. But because this subscribe button is on a black background, this would mean that you can only use this with a black background always. You can't just put that on top of your content without having this black background. 
If you are fine using this at the end of your video and you don't worry about it being on a black background, then go on. You can definitely use that. You can also download it here and then use it at the end of any video that you produce, be it in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve or any other kind of video editing software. However, now I want to show you exactly how to actually download an animated subscribe button here from the video section that later on you can use on top of your content without having a background so let me delete this here again and we will now drag and drop this subscribe button here that is actually on a green background well the reason this is on this weird green background is actually not because this is a beautiful background but because this green background actually enables us to use something called the green screen effect so now if you would like to use this subscribe button here anywhere on your footage here's how you do it first of all please download this subscribe button by clicking here on download in the top right corner of the screen and then make sure to download this as an mp4 video as soon as you downloaded this subscribe button, make sure to open up the video editing software of your choice. In my case here, this is Premiere Pro. And then add the animated subscribe button as just recently downloaded as an mp4 to your project. I've already done that here. You can see it here. It is called animated subscribe.mp4. I've also added one of my YouTube videos about how to make a Twitch panel in Canva. Now let's suppose I would like to use this animated subscribe button somewhere in the middle of the content rather than at the end of the content. So first of all, I'm just going to drag and drop this animated subscribe video into my timeline here. Just going to zoom in a little bit. And I will just play that from here. And now let's see what happens. And, um, what I can also do is once As you can see, we still have the problem that our animated subscribe button is on this ugly green background. We obviously don't want that because we want to layer this animated subscribe button on top of our content. So now to get rid of this problem, here's how you do it. I will first click here on my animated subscribe button clip and then here under effects I'm going to search for ultra because we are going to use an effect that is called ultra key. Now by drag and drop I will put that effect on my animated subscribe video. I'll just make the preview window a bit smaller here again. And yeah we still have that annoying green background. To get rid of it for good what I have to do is under effect controls here I actually have to search for key color and then under key color here make sure to click on that symbol just next to that black background then go to your program window here with your mouse and then just click once in the green area and as you can see now magically the green background is gone and we can freely use our animated subscribe button on top of our video footage. Well, in my case, I used Premiere Pro to do it, but this can also be done in any other kind of software, but you would need to figure out how the ultra key effect is actually called in those other video programs. It is very well possible that this effect there would be called a little bit differently, but probably a quick Google search would be enough to find out how that effect is called in your video editing software. And that's it guys, this is how you use animated subscribe buttons in Canva. So to summarize, if you would like to use an animated subscribe button in Canva, the easiest method for you to do it would be to go to elements, search for subscribe, then you could simply use a subscribe button from here that actually has no background like the one here. You can simply drag and drop that inside of your footage and once you download your video you will be able to place that subscribe button anywhere in your Canva footage and there won't be any problem that this subscribe button will have any kind of background but whenever you would like to use an animated subscribe button from Canva outside of Canva videos then you would actually need to use an animated subscribe button with a green screen just as the one we chose before here from the video section. Unless you're okay to use the background that actually comes with your animated subscribe button video. Now if you are already a Canva Pro user I would like to give you one more awesome tip. To show you I will now switch over to my Canva Pro account. Now do you still remember the green screen effect that I was just talking about a couple of minutes ago? I hope you do because this is what we are going to use now again to make use of this awesome workaround. For this purpose we will head over to photos now and search for green screen. 
And as you can see now, the first result that we will find here is a Canva Pro element. And this photo actually only consists of a green screen without any animated subscribe button. Just drag and drop that inside of your project, right click it, set image as background. And now, as I explained before, whenever we have something here on a green screen, we can actually make the green screen disappear later on. So that said, we can actually put whatever on this green screen and then later on we can make sure that this green screen will vanish and we will have a transparent background. So this actually means that now we can put whatever element here on our green screen and then later on remove it. Which is obviously absolutely awesome because we can put whatever we want on this green screen and then later on make this green screen disappear. So I guess you already figured it out by now. So as far as animated subscribe buttons go, we can now obviously head over here to elements search for subscribe and then and then we can obviously choose any of these animated subscribe buttons here that have no background for example this animated subscribe button here and drag and drop it inside of our project and now as i explained previously we could simply download that one here as an mp4 file and then in our external video software, as explained previously, you could simply make sure to use the ultra key effect on that footage and you would end up with your animated subscribe button without an actual background. So the cool thing really is, as long as you use this green screen background here, whatever animated subscribe button you're going to drop on that one, later on in your external video software, you will actually be able to remove the background and then simply use your animated subscribe button on top of your content. But well, now you probably think this animated subscribe button that we just used actually doesn't have a background anyway. So why can I not just download the animated subscribe button like this and use it without any background. Well, once again, as explained earlier in this video, the problem is that when you download this animated subscribe button here, even if it's one without a transparent background, the problem is that if you download the subscribe button just like this, let's say on this blank page here, it will indeed have a background. In this case, it will have a white background, so it definitely won't be on a transparent background. And to circumvent this problem, the only way you can do that is to make sure to download it here on a green screen and then make use of the green screen effect to actually remove the background. And that's it guys, this is all you need to know about animated subscribe buttons in Canva be it by either using these subscribe buttons in Canva videos itself or by using this animated Canva subscribe videos in external video programs such as Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve or maybe something like Final Cut Pro. And that's it guys, I hope you indeed enjoyed this video, if you did I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys, bye!